airplane going over. Sorry guys, you're just looking at a garlic bulb at the minute. I know it's not very interesting. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome. I have to probably keep moving this camera, this phone, because it's obviously not gonna be able to see anything. So I'm over here with my big pan. Um, I'm cooking on the agar today because that's what I have. Obviously, you can do it on a conventional oven. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how to make a really, really simple, quick and clean chicken curry. Now, whether you're trying to lose weight or whether you're just trying to be healthy, um, you should be cooking things from scratch so you know exactly what's in it. So there's no added sugar, no added chemicals, no E numbers, no nothing. You're cooking it yourself, you know exactly what's in it. And people say, oh, I don't have time to do this, blah, 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 or I don't know where to start. So this is what I'm gonna do regularly. I'm gonna show you some really quick and simple and easy recipes to cook. So today, clean chicken curry. Okay, so on the pan, Lucy Bee co coconut oil. This stuff is awesome. You can eat it on its own. You can use it to cook with. Um, you can clean your teeth with it, you can do oil pulling with it, but I'm going to cook with it today. So, coconut oil, do not be afraid of fat, it just needs to be good fat. So, a big dollop, and I go through this like mad, I maybe use a bit too much of it. So, a big dollop of coconut oil goes in my pan. And my pan is on the lower heat at the minute because, excuse me, I have just dropped half the ingredients. I am going to add, first off, some onion, just some white onion. Um, red onion would work equally as well. And I don't want this to cook too fast um, because I don't want the onions to burn or caramelize. So it's just on a low heat. And also with that, I'm adding my garlic. Now again, burnt garlic is horrible. So we're just cooking it slowly. And this is the garlic I'm using today. This is a smoked garlic. Um, just to give it a bit of a different flavour. Normal white garlic is perfectly okay, but I quite like this. It's, it's weird. Um, it obviously smells smoky. Excuse the planes, I live under an airport. Um, and it's, it's a bit squishy because it's obviously started to cook. Okay, so onions and garlic. I'll just turn it round, you can see. Okay, so onions and garlic, coconut oil. So we're just literally just sweating them down um, we don't want them cooking too fast but we do want them cooking obviously so just nice and slowly and i'll just turn the agar up a little bit more round so i can talk to you so are you trying to lose weight or are you just trying to be healthy and um, they are slightly different in the way you you should be eating um, if you're trying to lose weight the best thing to do is to go on a detox diet um, for say two to four weeks minimum in which case some of these ingredients in here we wouldn't normally advocate on a detox but for healthy lifestyle um, and just cleaning up your act generally everything in here is perfectly fine okay so that's sweated down now I am going to add a red chili and um, you could add a green one you could add a scotch bonnet if you like it hotter I well I don't mind but my husband doesn't like it particularly hot so I'm not making it too spicy so this is just a red chili um, just a big one and again just sweating that down don't want the chili to burn it's hot enough on its own without it burning so again just so we now have onion garlic and chili in the pan just sweating down. so the next thing to go in is my chicken because obviously it's a chicken curry now i've got chicken thighs these are cheap okay so nobody can say they can't afford to eat healthily chicken thighs are cheap they're easy and they take they they're quite sweet when you taste them but they need to cook fairly long and slow so i've got chicken thigh fillets and I'm just gonna chop them into chunks. You can leave them whole, um, but I like I like chunks of meat in my curry rather than a big lump of it and lots of water. I like quite a thick curry. So, chop those up and then I will shift the pan from the medium heat over to the high heat. Just excuse me guys while I do this. Probably should have chopped this before. Oh yeah, the dogs have come in now. That's uh, 
half of the course because they think they might get some chicken, but they're not going to, especially not on live periscope. I nearly said TV then because it's not very hygienic if you're feeding the dogs at the same time as you're cooking. Okay, so I'm just going to wash my hands. Bear with me, guys. Okay, so as I said, I'm going to whack that over on a higher heat and we're going to just brown it. We're not cooking it because this recipe, you can cook it on the top of the cooker and you can do it relatively quickly, but it tastes better if you cook it long and slow. So it's perfect for in a slow cooker or as I'm doing in an agar. So don't panic if you don't have an agar. But it would be great, you could make this the night before and then just put it in the slow cooker, switch the slow cooker on in the morning, come back from work and it's all ready. Or you could make it at lunchtime so it's ready for tea time. It's entirely up to you. Are we still there, guys? Anybody still there? So make sure you tap the screen, let me know you're there. And so we're just browning this off. So literally just turning the chicken from pink to white. That's all we're doing. Just releasing the flavours. There we go. So I'm doing this a little bit faster because I don't want you to get bored. So I probably do that a little bit longer. Then we are moving on to spices. So I've already got the chili in there, so I'm gonna add a teaspoon of ground coriander, which I really, really like. And I've got the lid in. Um, a teaspoon of garam masala, if that's how you pronounce it. So in we go, a teaspoon of garam masala. A teaspoon of medium curry powder. I'm nearly running out of this. So just a bog standard curry powder. And then half a teaspoon of turmeric. Now this herb is, it is so fantastic. If you Google it, you can use it for all sorts of ailments, you can use it for animals. My horses are on it for their skin, their coat and their uh, joints. So, and there's a group on Facebook, the Turmeric Users Group, that will tell you what, how to make a paste. Um, you can use it for cleaning your teeth, you can make a face mask out of it, which seems a bit weird because it's bright yellow, but it doesn't stain you, trust me. So look at this now, lovely yellowy golden colour. And all those spices are releasing their lovely smell. So again, I'm going to move this over so it doesn't burn. So you don't want the spices to catch. And we're nearly there, guys. Bear with me. Now, the final bit we're adding. As I said, it's not detox. So I'm going to add some butternut squash. Um, I've taken the peel off this, the rind off this. But you can cook it. If you're going to cook it a really long time, you can leave the peel on it. And that's quite nice. So... Butternut squash, celery, and courgette, or if you're in American, zucchini. So all those are going in. That's my veg. Lots and lots of veg on KSFL. High protein, low carb, and the carbs we have are all good carbs. So mixing that in, and then a tin of organic chopped tomatoes. Whack that in. Now, you could leave it like that if you like a tomato based curry I'd leave it like that um, I like creamy curries and there's no dairy on KSFL because it's not good for you it's full of hormones and pasteurization it's gone through lots of processes so we don't use cream as such but we do use coconut milk so I'm gonna add a tin if I can open the tin feeling weak because I haven't worked out much recently. Okay, there we go. A tin of coconut milk. And of course the top bit is always solid, so be careful it doesn't go everywhere. So we'll get that out. Water and a big lump of cream. And again, just mixing that in, breaking it down. 
because it doesn't want to mix. And I'm not going to bring this to the boil because it's got this cream in it. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't want it to separate. So I'm not going to boil it. But basically, that is it. So all I'm going to do <coughs> is put the lid on that. And then I'm going to put it in the agar in the oven and I'm going to leave it, what time are we? Five o'clock now. I'm going to leave it for at least two hours, possibly three. So it all cooks down, it reduces, the, the sauce gets nice and creamy, the chicken gets really, really tender, sweet and tasty. And then I'm going to serve that with some cauliflower rice tonight. And if you don't know how to make cauliflower rice, just let me know and I'll do another Periscope one day about cauliflower rice. So that's it guys. Easy. Easy, clean chicken curry. It's great for fat burning. It's great for weight loss. It's perfect for health and vitality. And it's simple. That's it. It's made. So have a go. Watch the replay if you didn't get all the ingredients. Write them all down. Have a go. Let me know how you get on. And I'll see you again very soon. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you want some more cooking. Come join me again. Bye.